Now, I was never the biggest Stargate fan. I liked the movie that came out in 1994, and I remember going to the theater to watch James Spader and Kurt Russell step through the portal into the wormhole. At the time of release, box office was pretty darn good. As a matter of fact, it was a record for the month of October up until that time back in 1994. Obviously, the movie was big enough to spawn a television show, Stargate SG-1, and believe it or not, that ran for 10 seasons. I tried to give the TV show a couple of views, but it just wasn't my thing. If you loved it, there's good news for you, however. The same person who came up with Stargate in Stargate SG-1 is now doing another show for the Sci-Fi Network. Dean Devlin, who also created the big box office movie Independence Day, is making something called The Ark. We're going to look at two sources on this news. The first one is going to come from sci-fi.com itself and then also The Hollywood Reporter. Now, The Ark is described as a high concept sci-fi series that follows the crew of a spacecraft as they try to stay alive after a devastating event destroys part of their ship. And as you would expect, the stakes are quite high because the mission of the ship is to save mankind. Devlin will act as showrunner alongside Jonathan Glasner, who did Stargate SG-1. Now, from what we've heard, this is going to be set about 100 years from current day, when planetary colonization missions have become a necessity to ensure the survival of the human race. It will follow the crew of Ark One after they encounter a disaster on their mission with more than a year left to go before reaching their destination. Sci-Fi has ordered the Ark straight to series for a 12 episode season and the production is slated to kick off in March of this year in Belgrade, Serbia. Despite that ambitious target for starting production, they have not announced who has been cast for this show. And of course, we don't know exactly when it will premiere. It's safe to say probably sometime in mid-2023. And despite a lot of marketing spin to the positive for sci-fi in both of these articles, at least The Hollywood Reporter admits something we all know to be true. That is that scripted entertainment on sci-fi has dwindled to a trickle. I guess they've had success with Resident Alien and Chucky, but again, I haven't watched this network in years because the things that brought me to it are no longer there. What do you think? Are you excited about this? Did you like the Stargate movie? Did you like those 10 seasons of Stargate SG-1? What do you think about them going with what, well... I don't want to crap on this, but we've seen this story arc before and recently, including one that was on Netflix in 2019 that unfortunately starred Katie Sackhoff called Another Life. And God, I hated that show more than anything in the world. And as it turns out, I was not the only one. It was kind of like friends in space with the most forced diversity representation you have ever seen shoved into third-rate science fiction writing. Of course, Katie Sackhoff did her best, but my god, if you ever want to see probably one of the worst damn things that could ever be done with the science fiction genre, watch one or two episodes of Another Life. Anyway, as ever, this is Salty Texas Sea. I am Corey DB. I hope you're having a great week. This is a big shout out to my wolf brothers and sisters. We are going to be live streaming tonight at 7 p.m. Central or about quarter after seven. I will be joined as usual by OBG70, Zax, with special guest Nick McCabe and some others who may be dropping by. We are going to be talking about Wheel of Time, what's going on with Amazon's Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, as well as a whole lot of other things, please join us. We would love to have you in our awesome chat.